all right little bugs let's take a looky look let's see uh oh no i got i have a telepathic <laughs> oh god my bad y'all i have a telepathic message for someone but yeah th this person wants to um like swallow their pride they, they, they could be listening to gospel music somebody here is they could be listening to the artist yolanda uh adams i forgot that song i forgot the name of the song but it's like this person is saying to you they want to come to you and ask you for your advice they don't want to make the same mistake over and over again okay let's 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 just take a look at the cards thank you for your love and support to the channel all right, what's the overall message here? Man, what's that? What's that song by Yolanda Adams? I'm gonna look it up and link it down below. All right, what they need to know here? Yep, yeah, purifying. Oh, so this is a person right here. Okay, they they want to be honest about a lustful uh, side of them. So this could be someone who had a sex addiction. They're now getting over it, or they just want to be honest with you about it. They are infatuated with you. This is a person that is purging. They're going through like some sort of purging pruning process, but they're cleaning their energy, being purified, renewed, redeemed, um, restored. So lust. Now they are thinking about you sexually, intimately. Uh, this could be a person who still has like, you know, non-committal ways about his and herself doesn't mean they're dealing with the sex addiction anymore but it's just them saying you know uh i want to be honest about why i was non-committal i'm not sure if i'm still ready to be i don't know if i really desire monogamy right now but i still want to be honest about where i am this person can't get you off their mind they adore you so very much they feel addicted to you uh this is also a person that their judgment has been clouded Clouded because of some sort of addiction. This is, this is sex addiction, though. Yep. And this is a person that wanted to say, I thought you were better off better off without me. Um, this person didn't want to damage you. They didn't want to bring you troubles. Didn't want to bring you problems. Uh, your feminine energy. They didn't want to um, toxic, toxic ways about themselves. They didn't want their toxicity to rub off on you. This is the kind of person that realizes that they were a carrier of a disease, a STI spiritually transmitted infection they respect your life more than what you know so much that they stay away from you this is a person that realized they had to take a look at the man or the woman in the mirror there are some illusions about this person that they want to you know bring to the forefront maybe some things you didn't know this could be a person that where they're ready where they're really ready to lay it on the table this is going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation um it's not about love here. It's about honesty. It's about integrity. It's about doing the right thing. It's about clearing the air. It's about setting the record straight. It's about saying what it really was. I was lost. You know, yeah, my judgment was clouded. I was very unbalanced. I was looking at things from a skewed perspective. I was lost. Um, I, I'm paying attention to his Adam's apple. You know, I didn't want to speak about what I was dealing with. Somebody who really had a really, really, really bad attachment to them sexually. Now, they could be dealing with, you know, some, some other things, but they just want to let you know that I thought you would have been better off. I thought, you would, I thought you would have been happier without me. I'm not sure if I could make you happy. This could be a person because of their um, lustful ways, their sex addiction. Mm. That they may re recognize that they didn't know how to love. They went off what, you know, made them feel good in that moment. Which was six. All right. So what do they need to know about this person? It wants to be heart to heart. From their heart to yours. The hermit card. This person has been withdrawn. I feel like this person has been examining their choices, their decisions. And the fact of the matter is, this is a person that has gotten themselves, uh, they could have gotten themselves into like some sort of counseling, taking some sort of classes here. And yeah, something had to help them gain the strength to walk away yep, and be and understand what singleness is. This could be a person that jumped from relationship to relationship or situationship to situationship. It's not always about a spiritual journey. It's about a person saying, this is the truth of my life. I suck at this. So they felt like they suck at love. They suck at relationships. So they just took an effort pill. I'm just going to have sex, casual sex. You know, I... You know, I like to get together. I like to have fun. But, you know, I'm really just here for the sex. This person either couldn't do you like this or they they did not 
do you like this? Some of you all could have blocked this and that what was really going on with this person. And their thing is now, I want to tell you the truth. Yeah. This is somebody here that having a sex addiction also got them into trouble, drama. It brought strife into their life. The five of wands. So you, you know how you say you dodged a bullet? Yeah, you did dodge a bullet. You dodged a lot of strife for some of you all. Even if you endured some, you were, you you didn't you did not endure as much as you could have if this person was a part of your life. This is a person that's in therapy. They're in some sort of counseling. Somebody here could be on medicine. Um, it's like they are identifying the root to their problem. Like, why am I this way? What got me here? Somebody here really was infatuated with sex. They didn't see people. They saw, you know, a private part. They just did it. And so it's like, it's, they're, they're asking someone, you know, show me the error of my ways. And this is a person that's also been praying. They've gotten in tune with themselves to hear from God. They recognize the voice of God. They understand right and wrong. They understand the Holy Spirit or beginning to understand this. So they're gaining an understanding. And all they're getting, they are getting an understanding. So this is a person, they could have been, you know, not well rested. I'm here. They could have been you know, not sleeping. Why? Because the, the wicked doesn't sleep. The wicked is going to be weary. There's no rest to the wicked. So this person right here is, is, is that naughty side of them. Something someone who could have lost control of. Yep. This is a loner right now in life. Because it seems as if a person has gotten themselves to the place to recognize that they were on some sort of destructive path that, that led them to the five of wands. And now their thing is, no, I, I want to do right for myself. I want to do better to myself. I'm going to do better for me. And in doing that, they discover, you know what, I want to. I need to talk to AEL subscriber. Now, it could be some news somebody need to tell you now. You know, just keep that in mind. But at the same time, this person is primarily saying... You know, I want to ask them something. They've been a loner just like me. Two loners are coming together. Two people that don't have a lot of, you know, associate. You, I'm not saying you don't have any friends. You don't. You don't do a whole lot of company. You may not do. You both of y'all could be introverts, or someone here has turned into that. I'm hearing that song "Party Like a Rock Star" again. So somebody here could have been a, a party person, party girl, party boy, and they've turned into an introvert. And someone here has cleaned their life up. They've cleaned up their act. What's the um the card? The um, card, the hair card. What's the um card? Holy Spirit. Yep, the magician and the three of pentacles. Two two um two loners are coming together. Two people. Somebody here is manifesting this. And this is a person. Here. Somebody here is in like some, a group therapy. They're they having like group sessions. It could be online. It could be them going to it. But they see people of um, different faces. Something here is about the writing on the wall as well. So it's like a person here ignored something like this is what led you to this addiction because of this. The writing was on the wall right here. The proof was right here. And this is what triggered you. But you didn't pay attention to this. See, somebody here is going to, yeah, they were blind to the fact. See how he's blind? He's touching that little book like he's reading it. But this person was blind to the fact of the problems in their life. So this is a person that is accustomed to address, excuse me, to, to suppressing things and not addressing them. And they want to ask you, like, you know, what do you think my next step should be? They could be at the ending cycle of therapy, counseling, or whatever. But they also, um, it's like a person may want to access you or utilize you, befriend you, associate with you for an accountability partner. I don't see anything about a relationship. So if you're looking for that, I'm going. I'm not going to lie. You might want to just, I don't know, click off or something. But this person right here seems like they need an accountability partner. But they also got to be held accountable for their um their mishaps. It's like a trait that was inside of them. You know what sickle cell is? How how uh people have the sickle cell trait, and parents are tested to see 
which parent has it and how the child, you know, like which parent could have passed it on to the child. A person has been going deep into their life, deep into their roots to see, you know, well, what were my foremothers, foremothers, forefathers like? What were my family members like? What were my ancestors like? Where did they come from? What kind of issues did they have? So this is a person right here who's looking deep into their life, honey. What's the hair front card? Yep, the Knight of Wands. This, yeah, okay, so somebody here did. Somebody here got, a, you know, a bad ordeal. This is a person that, you know, being a player really broke their heart. It really set them back. This could be someone here that, um, Hmm. That looks like a snake in his hand. Hmm. You know how we attract what we are? Somebody here attracted that. But it's not just them attracting a person that was like them. This person has a lot of broken memories. That's why they want to talk to you. Because they're going to share their secrets with you. They may let you read their diary. They may show you some things they've never shown anyone. You, 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 you're important to this person. Whoever you are, you're, you're important to them. You, you mean something to them. They can trust you. Um, there could be some sort of romantic attraction, something like that. But you're important to this individual. Yeah, I keep hearing like out of pocket, out of character. They got something that they went way out of pocket and they manifested someone that was like them, whether it was another friend, another lover, or like, you know, just because I'm hearing that whole guilty of associations. The associate, the people they were associated with were just as guilty of them. Somebody here was trifling because, you know, they were, they, they, they were trifling and they hung around and connected with other trifling people. Shiesty. Low grade. I'm so, I'm sorry I said it like that, honey. I just gotta tell you how I hear. I'm not trying to be funny, but low grade people, and that's what they became. But it was already in them. This had to come out of them so they could see themselves. And whatever you know, heartbreak they receive in this experience, their 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 uh, judgment, their their mind had to be cloudy. It was severely cloud, cloud cloudy, to be honest with you, because they couldn't see life in people. Somebody here that kind of, you know, got off track, as they say, got off track with their life, got off track with their direction. And that's the thing. They want to open. They got to drop their pride because, hell, it look like somebody here didn't really shit up. All right. What's the eight of cups? What's the eight of cups? Yeah. They, they, they ain't coming in cocky off this mess here because somebody might have a little issue. What's, what's the eight of cups here? Oh, God. Yeah. This is a person that's starting a new league in life. They start. They, they learn about self love. This is somebody who who really didn't love themselves. Mm -mm. No. And this person right here also had other issues that lie dormant within inside of them, big time. Now there's this Empress card. A lot of people I see are having these mama issues. Whew. Now this male or female somebody here definitely didn't have mother issues with the empress card and the moon card so someone here a mother component is here again but a mother goes you know it takes a man and a woman to make a baby so it could be mother or father so this is a person right here they got with someone that was a party like a part oh my god i just remembered something they just oh it just hit my brain heavy there was this guy i went to school with we went, we grew up and I thought he, you know, grew up to be the most amazing person and did a lot of, you know, because he, he got a real good job or whatever. And I remember one time we were having a conversation and we were just talking about our hometown, Florence. And I was like, why you don't never go home? I was like, I always have to work. And I was telling him about, you know, the bad memories I had in Florence. And he was saying, well, you know, everybody acts so old and um, I just don't like being around them. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, so then he started telling me about, you know, younger people that he had more of a connection with than the people his age. But what he left out was he was a party guy. He was one way before, like, people that knew him, and he was another way with other people because they were different than him, younger than him, like, 
you know, like 15, 17, 20 years younger than him. But that's where he fit in. That's where he felt like he fit. But he was, you know, he was doing other things, of course. So somebody here could have had that little thing. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. They don't, they, they, they didn't like to grow up. They didn't want to grow up. They always want to party or they hid a part of themselves. So that's the thing. Somebody here got, somebody here got a lot to tell you. And this is somebody here. They could have, you know, felt like they had to be very responsible as a child with their mom. They could have had siblings they had to take care of or been an only child. And they felt like, you know, man, I grew up all alone. I, you know, I, I just want to be around people, but they got around a certain crowd that led them astray. And they started making choices. So this is some, let's let's say somebody's in their fifties, and they started interacting with someone twenty years younger than them, that puts that person in their thirties. So your person's mindset went back twenty years when that when they really were supposed to bring a younger person's mind up. The younger person empowered the fifty year old and brought him or her back. So, so something took your person's mind back to being irresponsible, careless. I keep hearing shysty, sneaky, weird, and maybe even reckless. They went back. They went backwards instead of going forward. And it caused, like, you know, turbulence in their life. But this turbulence was necessary because it also showed them other issues they had, rooted issues that stemmed from their mother for some, fathers from other, or identity issues. Identity self-awareness self-love they didn't know who they were yeah and this person looks at you y'all might y'all might be more different than what y'all realize one of y'all maybe be maybe you know very mature the other person is very immature see here the high priestess this person right here was you know holding back on you about who they really were but they also had like i said another side of them and the high priestess see in here this person right here was reading cards so this is somebody here who could have gotten to like divination but on a darker side they could have started out reading tar tarot started out loving crystal balls started out reading runes they were studying things but they got into trickery with the magician card they became a trickster so this is somebody here who started love bombing people love bombing them manipulating them overpowering their mind just to sex them i'm hearing that song i like the fuck when i'm drunk i like the fuck when i'm high so somebody here they use they somebody here was an abuser honey this is sexual abuse though mm -mm. this is somebody here they use something they learned a specific skill or uh, something like that they, they yeah they, they develop some sort of skill some sort of craft to learn how to manipulate people into sleeping with them or giving them what they want. This person did go down a little, a little raunchy path here. Yeah, it's going to be a real heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, honey. This is, a, this is a person right here that could have always been told no when they were younger. So this is the person right here. This is the person that likes control. Instead of you telling them no, you tell them yes. They make people tell them yes. This could be a hypnosis. That guy I was telling y'all about, I found out he was a hypnosis. He was into some of this kind of stuff too. Tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Somebody here is highly manipulative. They get into things. They pull, they, they know about spirits, energy. They could be in the Ouija boards. So they use certain tools to make you come towards them or to make you want them or lust after them. This person had a hell of a um, dark side. Keep them in counseling about one more year, honey. Anyway, see right here, the fool card. They've made a choice to take a to take a chance. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the eight of swords is here because they 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 keep it's like self-destruction. They self-destruct because of what they know they have done. You could have been a victim, but only to a certain extent. Other people were a real victim of a very of, of a very malicious energy from a person that you may care and love. Yep. The Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. I told you, you're important to this person. And the Five of Wands. And this is a person right here. They, they, I, they, 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 there may be some strife between you and you all. Or some sort of offness, animosity. Or there's something off between you and this person. Y'all are at a difference. Y'all are at odds with each other. And this person wants to kind of, you know, talk to you from a loving place. Now, I'm going to tell you, they don't want no judgment. I mean, I'm not going to say they need it or not. But they don't want any judgment because... They've already been made to feel bad, 
Not only because of what they what they became, but what they got into. Because this is like a person that played with spirits and then spirits and overpowered their ass and got them. Goody. <sighs> yep. No, that's the wrong deck. Yep, yep, yep. This is a person right here that played with some of you all. This is a man. I know I'm your Jupiter. This is a man that know he was supposed to marry you. And he could have used his ability or... I don't know. He got into a certain life lifestyle, became manipulative, had a really bad sex addiction, used uh, divination to manipulate people for sex, um, been a party man. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, places here. But this a trick. This this was a tricky person that looks like he is trying to clean his act up. If it's a she, she's working on cleaning her act up because they have identified the root to their problem. But you ain't had nothing to do with. Yep, nothing to do with. This is a man that wants to be you. I trust you and I don't trust easily. This could be a man that developed a sex addiction because of this right here. Family and friends use me. And somebody who is not just sex. It's like a party addiction. Party and hanging out. Somebody here didn't act their age, but they got with the crowd that was like careless, irresponsible. It's like a 30, well, let me see. It's, it's like a 40 something year old man with hang, wanting to hang around my daughter and she's 23, don't match. That shows you a predator in him, a pervert in him. So this person right here had a spirit of perversion on them. Whether they, they could have been something that came from the bloodline they had to discover. Or something that was attached to them by hanging around certain people. I have so much to say, but can't find the words. <sighs> That's why they're using that song, that gospel song. This person getting the, this person has the conviction of the Holy Spirit on them. They have been universally convicted by God. That song by um y Alonda, Yolanda Yolanda Adams. See, they want your attention. These are major confessions. Yep. Cause this this could be something that it that could have almost destroyed them. This is all this is almost a thing of also where um the rumors could have been starting to speculate. They could have you know caused conflict in their life. They didn't have foresight to see because they were too busy caught up with lust, too busy caught up manipulating, too busy caught up. This is this is the kind of person they kept getting by. See, God allows us to get by. What goes over the devil's back is going to lap under his belly. So God kept allowing things to go over this person's back. Like, all right, he kept giving them passes. But in these passes, we all get warnings. We get forewarnings. Slow down. Stop doing that. I really don't want you a part of that. This is not good. This is not why I sent you to earth. I don't want you to do that. They kept getting these little boom, 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 boom. But they kept getting by. So something had to stop them. Whether it be the strife, whether it be heartbreak, whether it be them, you know, getting into trouble, whether it be something else here, whether it be them getting, you know, picking up something. See that witch here picking up something dark, an illusion they are accustomed to casting became um, a reality in their life. My God. Oh, ah, oh, I got chills just now when I said that. Oh, Lord have mercy when I felt something in my pinky toe. Ooh, I told you, you're important to this person. They do love you. This person had to get sanctified. I ain't talking about, you know, that fake stuff. They had to get to know God for real. Because, see, they became enlightened. And this is a person right here. They definitely had lust of the eye, honey. See this beauty card? Anything attractive they saw, whatever, the, whatever they were attracted to, male or female, that's what they slept with. But they manipulate their way in people's panties, people's underwears. And they also probably had motives. I'm going to get love from this person. I'm going to get spiritual attitude religion from this person. I'm going to get knowledge from this person. This is a stealer. This is an energy stealer. People like this that sleep around, they sleep around and they, they, can, they, they hold on to your energy. And they know how to transmute it in an unhealthy way. See there? This person had your energy, but for whatever reason, this they, it, they they must have couldn't have hit. They must not could have used it the way they are accustomed to using it, which shows that you are um. Dang, what's that word? Hold on a minute, y'all. What's that word? 
Like you have a resistance to something. It's on the tip of my brain. You have some sort of resistance to this person's trickery. That's the hands of God over your life, though. Immune. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are you were immune to something. That shows something about your about your life also. But you are immune to this person's trickery. Now I ain't gonna lie, I heard it, I heard, I heard shittery. This person shitty. Mm -hmm. See this right here, this healing card? They're in the process of healing. They had to get better. I told you. Honey, you were protected from this right here. Be glad. And that's the truth of the matter. So this is the person right here. They look they, it made them look at you differently. And be like, why is it not working on them? Because it was your protection from God. See this right here, this uncertainty. This person has uncertainty because they're like, man, how how they're gonna feel about me, how they're gonna view me when I, you know, when I lay all this on the table, when I lay that on the table. This is like a woman going to a person saying, you know, I like women and she's married. Or a man going to his wife and saying, I like men and I'm married. There's a lot been coming in my spirit about fetishes. But that moon card, this person had fetishes, ways about his or herself, making abnormal into normal. They turned dysfunctional into functional. But it all started from a rooted trauma. There's Virgo. This person got a dark side, had a dark side, I'm saying had. Had a dark side to him or her. But God put them on a path of destruction. See, destruction does not always come to hurt us. It comes to heal us. It comes to help us. You got Gemini here twice. Virgo, Capricorn, and Cancer. Um, also, somebody here, I don't know who. If this person has not been like exposed because i i keep hearing the word exposure exposure is coming to their life or if it already came to their life it was to reveal to them and people that are close around them like there's another there's another part to this person that you don't know you're not familiar with this this person may have a sickness they're they hide an illness very well psychological issues spiritual issues this person is definitely a spiritual abuser if this person is in a place of spiritual or religious spiritual or religious authority, they hide their lust very well. They have a very, 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 very lustful eye. A very lustful eye. You see how these pastors are coming out and getting caught with men and women? Yeah. Very lustful eye. Very manipulative ways and tactics. And they know things they don't educate and tell people on because they learned it, but they mastered the bad of it. And they are a trickster. You better thank God. Look at here, child. Can see this person right here? Deja vu about you. You could have let this person go because of an epiphany that you had. Or this person is coming back because of some sort of realization that you that they have had through counseling. Uh, I'm, I keep hearing therapy through therapy about you. All right, I'm going to leave this here, hon. Um, I'm going to do part two and see how this person comes towards you. Um, like what's going to take place. I'll put it on Patreon. Peace and blessings. Great day, love bugs. I hope this helps. I hear that song, Don't Walk Away From Me. My love won't hurt you. Somebody here was sick, though. I'm not talking about physical. Because the Spirit of the Lord is showing me something. Somebody here has a disorder. They could need to be on medicine. Something triggers this person. You know how we watch these movies? Well, I used to watch them like in the uh, 90s and the early 2000s. Uh, like Lifetime movies. You see these people have these families. They look so well put together. But in actuality... A husband or a wife could be living a different life when they go out of town for work or saying they, you know, have business or when they go out of town um, for some sort of... But it's, it's something that separates them. It's reminding me, somebody does a mystery to a person's life. You don't know this person the way you think you do. 
You're going to start having deja vu. You're going to start having visions. You may have already started. My God, I feel the Holy Spirit want to... Hold on a minute, honey. Mm -mm. There, 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 there is, there, there's something the Holy Ghost is going to show you about this person. It's going to be unsettling. It's going to make you uncertain because you're going to see the trickster that they've been or that's been inside of them for a very long time. You are also going to start putting pieces together, oh God, for the Holy Ghost. I'm not quenching the spirit, but I want to get this message through. You're going to start seeing things. It's like pieces to a puzzle is going to be put together. This person has uh, weird infatuations about people. And this person right here, uh, Houdini, that's that, that's that magic man. If you believe in magic, they play with magic. They play with spirits. They play with energy. I feel like somebody here is like of authority. Because I see pool pits up here. I see speakers. I see like professional people. Excuse me. Excuse me. Clean cut looking people. This is a professional person with a deep, 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 deep rooted lust. This is a person, you know how we have first boyfriends, first girlfriends, first loves. Somebody here is not over a person, excuse me. And they, somebody here, they profile people, honey. They prey on the weak-minded, though. If this, if this, that they prey on certain types of people also. Oh God. They watch. They they have the ability to watch. This is a watchman. They sit back and watch. Mm -mm. And they they get the evidence if their trickery and their magic is working. Uh yeah. I'm going to do part two. Uh, peace and blessing. Great day. It'll be on Patreon. Namaste. Dang. Thank you.